Hi guys, welcome back to another episode of the Aussie Flipper. My name is Matt Diedrich and I am an online reseller. What that means is I'll buy a product for the sole purpose of flipping it online for a profit. Now I've got 10 items to show you today and uh, if you're here for the very first time, I do these videos every single Sunday. I'll take you through my best sold items of the week to hopefully help you out there do the exact same thing. So if you're into this uh, reselling game part-time, full-time, casually, whatever the case may be, you might want to hit the subscribe button to this channel because I'm going to be putting out a heap of reseller content every single week. Also give the video a like because it really does help the YouTube channel out a lot. So I'll take you through my sales figures like I always do at the end of the 10 items. Uh, so this is a big one today. Really pumped to get into it. Let's get started. Okay, a fun one to kick things off today, guys. I've got a pair of Batman bedside tables that I found on Facebook Marketplace for just $30, if you can believe. I was shocked when I saw this. When I picked it up within the first hour, as you've always got to do on Facebook, uh, there was really no issues with this whatsoever. I'd call it a nine out of 10 condition item. So I really didn't do anything with this one when I got it back to the house, which is what I try to always do. Get items that you don't need to do too much work to. Um, Relisted this one. I actually listed it for $75 each because I figured with kids' bedside tables, you don't always necessarily need two of them. Sometimes you might only need one. Um, but this one did sell as a pair. So I sold both for 75 each, um, total cost of $150. Um, so I've made $120 profit. They've got some awesome bedside tables. This was just a really cool one. I knew, knew this would go well. I think it sold within the space of five days. So a same week sale, which you always like to try and do with your furniture pieces. Um, so yeah, cool one to kick things off, the Batman bedside tables. So I've secured my Batman bedside tables. I was driving home and I see these people bringing furniture out onto the front of their driveway and they've got price tags. So I pulled over the side of the road, said, hey, what else do you guys have that you're about to bring out? And they've shown me this one, which is a Jay Adams model uh, Z Flex skateboard. Now, I know my skateboard's a little bit and I knew off the bat this was worth between $50 to $100. So I was curious to know what they were gonna sell it for. They said $5 and I said, absolutely no dramas whatsoever. Giving this one a bit of a touch up, bit of paint work and a bit of a clean. Um, and this one sold for $40 on Facebook marketplace. I listed it for 50 and I took an offer for 40 but to make a quick $35 profit in the space of just four days, I was wrapped with this one. So this is really coming down to the fact that it was an opportunist type purchase. I was driving away with the bedside tables. I saw people bringing furniture out onto the side of the road, pulled over, had the conversation, got friendly with them. And before you know it, I've walked away with a $35 profit on a Z Flex skateboard. So just goes to show you, you can, you never know when opportunities will present themselves. And you've really just got to strike the minute you see something great that you can make some money on. Third item of the day, guys, is this Hannibal Lecter Funko Pop that I found in the unboxing video that I put out on Tuesday of a stack of Funko Pops that I'd purchased off Facebook Marketplace. Now, I paid $4 for all these Funko Pops that I bought, and this one sold for $23.20. So I've made a $19.20 profit in the space of three days on this first item. So if that is gonna be the case for the rest of the Funkos that I've bought out of this uh, bulk purchase, then I'm gonna be pretty happy. So to get a $20 profit is great. I love the Funko Pops in the, in the sense that no one really knows the true value unless you do quite a bit of research and quite a bit of digging. And I kind of like that because you never know what you could uncover. It's almost like a lottery ticket, I feel, with the Funkos. Um, but this one was worth about the $25. It sold for around that mark. So pretty much what I thought I was going to get for it, I did. Um, and I did it in a really quick time. So I was pretty happy with that. Keep an eye out for the Funko Pops. Do your research. See if you can get a good one. Buy it and then make your profit. Now, the next one is a bit of retail arbitrage out of a Bunnings warehouse, which for those outside of Australia is a timber and a hardware store. And uh, I managed to find these AAA battery packs for $9.95 on a clearance rack. And on the eBay comp sold search, they were worth about $27 free postage. So I've just copied that and listed these for $27 free postage. And within three days, this one sold. So, and you take the postage out of it, I've made an $18.30 sale price, a profit of $8.36 buying them off the clearance rack at Bunnings. And it's just given me a bit of a thought. And what I've gone ahead and done now is I've just listed a, a relisted item with quantity of 10. And the minute they sell, I'm just gonna take myself back to Bunnings and buy another pack. Um, really cool item, three day sales cycle for this one. Didn't think they would move as quick as they did, but it's just given me the thought that I don't need to go and buy bulk them out of them right now. I'm just gonna take myself back there when they do sell and then just post them immediately. So cool item there, a bit of retail arbitrage. I'm gonna do a little bit more of this. I think it's a really cool idea to not house stock, but to just list stock that you know is priced elsewhere at a cheaper rate and then just go pick it up before you have to post it. Now, for any of my regular viewers out there, you all know that I love my ASICS running shoes and I managed to find these ASICS gel net burner netball shoes uh, in an op shop for just $8. I've listed them up on eBay for $36.95, and that's exactly what they've sold for. I said no to a few offers throughout the last three weeks. They did take three weeks to sell, but sure enough, I found somebody to take the full purchase price, 
$36.95 and that's profited me $28.95. So this is why I buy my ASIC shoes, guys, because they do sell for a great profit. And if you can find them in good condition in the op shops, they're always going to sell. So ASIC's gel net burner, netball shoes, good one to look out for, $28.95 profit for me. Now, it wouldn't be a what sold episode if I didn't put a piece of furniture up that I'd sold throughout the week. So these were a Balinese style uh, jail cell timber bedside tables. Now, I found these for 50 bucks. And as you know, I like to buy my bedside tables for around that mark. And I've sold them for $140 on Facebook Marketplace within nine days. So it took a little bit longer to sell. And I think it took a little bit longer because these are a really common piece of furniture. I actually do see them on Marketplace quite a bit. Um, I've given it a really good clean. There was no damage or marks to this one. I've put some gumption into it, which is a really great cleaning product. Um, some sugar soap as well, and then I've given it a really good polish. So they presented really well on photos, and because they were so common, it just took a little bit longer to sell at the higher price end. Um, but they did sell for 140, so $90 profit. Um, another piece of furniture, always look for furniture. I'm, I'm hopefully giving you the advice of what furniture to buy through these sorts of videos if you haven't done furniture before. But I really just encourage you to buy one piece of furniture a week and see if you can make 100 bucks from it, because I'm doing it on a weekly basis with multiple furniture items. Now this next one, guys, was a real frustrating one for me. It took 15 days to sell and I didn't get the price that I wanted for it. So it was a pair of Adidas 2014 World Cup Nitro Charge 1.0 men's footy boots. Now these were a rare pair. Um, it was for the World Cup back in 2014. I did sell a, white, a black pair of um, Nitro Charge footy boots for $70. These have sold for $80. And I was really trying to make $100 profit because I bought them for 15. And I really do think they're worth between 100 and 120. The market clearly didn't say so. I took a lot of low ball offers between 60 to 80, and then I just caved and took an $80 offer after the space of 15 days. So I um, made a $65 profit, which is great, don't get me wrong, but uh, I really wanted to get the 100 bucks and I didn't get it. It took 15 days to sell, $65 profit though. Happy to just get it out the door and move on. Next item up, guys, are these New Balance WX761 women's running shoes. Now, these are in great nick, 10 out of 10 condition. I paid $10 for them, so I did tax out on them, but they did sell on Facebook Marketplace for 30 bucks. So I made a quick $20 profit. I said no to a few offers and uh, took a $30 um, full cost sale price. So really happy with that one, 20 bucks profit. Always look out for these. I mean, the ASICs are great shoes, but New Balance as well is a really good brand that I'll look for in the running shoes. Um, you know, $220 shoes. So this, this person buying them for 30 bucks, it's got an absolute steal. Um, and I've obviously made a $20 profit. I generally try to make 20 to 25 bucks profit on every pair of shoes I buy. So happy to get the result there. And he's come away with a really cool pair too. Item number 10 was a pair of bedside tables I found on Facebook Marketplace for $50. So right in the hitting zone for how I like to grab my bedsides. Um, these were a really large pair, um, really big, creamy white. Um, $50, when I pick these up on Marketplace. Now, I've had a lot of questions from people saying, how do you go when you actually relist on Facebook Marketplace, the platform that you bought off? Do you get any messages from people that are angry that you're relisting for a profit? And the answer is no, I haven't. Um, I've done quite a lot of them now because because I'm, I think the reason I haven't had any messages is because I'm striking in the first hour of buying. It's not giving enough time for people to actually see that listing. Um, so by the time I've bought it and I've relisted it, no one's really aware of, of what actually took place to begin with. Um, so these ones sold for $150, but they were um, up north a little bit, and it was about a 30 minute drive. So I've said I'd do a $25 delivery for these, and the lady has said yes. So awesome result for me because I'm, that, it's up my sale price to $175, and the profit on them has been $125. I mean, I know there's some petrol costs there as well, but I look at it from a, a, an individual sale price perspective, and it was a $50 purchase, a total of $175 sold, and $125 profit on a same day sale. So I teed up a few op shops on, along the journey to get some value out of the drive as much as it was a $25 delivery. And I think you should be doing that out there as well. If you are buying furniture or bulky items, put them up on a Facebook marketplace and offer delivery because you'll make a few more dollars and you can tie it into your day to not be a big, uh, I guess, or yield to, uh, to get the job done. So they are my 10 sold items of the week, guys. Hope you got a bit of a kick out of those. I do try to put some items in there that aren't my typical sort of sold items on a weekly basis. So I don't want to be a one trick pony and just keep putting up ASIC shoes um, because I want to try and help you guys, um, you know, source some items that you might not look for yourself. And hopefully by seeing this video, you can now go out and do that and make a few extra dollars where you wouldn't have otherwise. So another part of the episode that I like to really jump into, I am a bit of a numbers man myself, is to look at my sales results. So I'll pull up the, uh, the grid here for you now to have a bit of a look at. I've sold 35 items this week, which is an absolute record for me. Um, normally it's about 25, so to go up to 35 is awesome. I think a lot more shoes and clothes have sold, and that's obviously been the spike in the number of item sales. 
Um, I've also listed a lot more on eBay actually, and that's probably another thing as to why I'm selling a few more things. Uh, cost of goods, $381, so not too bad. Total sales, 1,290. Not sure if that's a record. It is 10 a.m. on a Sunday as I'm shooting this, so you never know. There might be a few more sales come in and that bumps up a little bit more, but 1290 from a sales front for this week. Really happy with those results. Profit is $914. I'm just so close to that $1,000 week. Never done a $1,000 profit week, but geez, I'm close. And it could be today. Obviously, 10 a.m., there's still a bit of a chance that that goes to 1000 bucks. Um, profit margin of 71%. So profit margin's a little bit down. Um, normally it's about 75%, but that's okay. Anything between 70 and 75, I'm happy. Um, so they are my sales numbers for this week, guys. Now we're at the end of September. I've only got three days into next month to round out the month. Then next week I'll do a video for you that completely breaks down everything. I'm gonna go into the nitty gritty to show you exactly what I've uh, sold for the month of September, what items I've sold, what profit I've made collectively, how, you know, total gross sales. I'm gonna go through everything. I'm gonna make it a really detailed month uh, review for you. Um, and I'll do that at the end of the 10 uh, items that I'll, I'll sell for next week um, to show you that as well. So hopefully you've got a kick out of this episode. Keep charging hard, stay persistent, stay consistent. And uh, I look forward to catching you in the next one, guys. Appreciate you tuning in.